just finished my final foraging course of the year in Sheffield. A bit of a mixed bag of stuff, but the highlight of the show for me, and I think most people who came on the course, were these beauties. Now, they might not look particularly nice and edible with all those red colours and bluey colours, but these are edible. They are called the Scarlatina Belite. They do need to be thoroughly cooked, so I like to have them in soups and stews and risottos where I'm naturally cooking them for quite a long time. But not a beginner's mushroom, because there is a toxic lookalike called the Satan's Belite, also known as the Devil's Belite, and that is red on the stem and on the pores underneath and it also does go this bluey colour when the flesh is exposed to air. Bit of a warning sign generally but this particular one is the Scarlatina Belite so I'm going to take it home put it into the soup but for the record the Satan's Belite has like a net like pattern on it it looks a bit like a mesh pattern on the red stem whereas on the Scarlatina Belite here it's just lots of red dots. There's no net-like or mesh-like pattern. The cap colour of the two mushrooms is also different with the cap of the Scarlatina Belite being a very distinct brown and the cap of the Devil's Belite being more of a chalky white colour. However, I would say that particular feature is not as reliable as the feature that I went through on the stem because the cap of the Scarlatina Belite can fade a little when it gets older, at which point the difference between the two cap colours might not be that different or significant enough so always check the stem so now i'm off to make some soup <laughs> 